This is Genoms eating some hamster chow. Then you go back to eating your hamster food. You deserve a little tweet. <laughs> Why are you touching me while I'm eating? <laughs> like, can a hamster eat in peace, you mean? And what is this big thing in front of me? It looks big. Why is it here? I am adorable. I am Jenny. I had to give her her medicine. The little antibiotic. Because I like to call it the pink shit. So this is her tweet. She had some hymns to chow. So I gave her the hymns to chow. So. That's all little tweet for taking the medicine. Who's a little pain in the ass with the medicine? <laughs> He's like, one day, human, the world will see. The world will see you for what you are. An annoying asshole who annoys the shit out of me. Why do you annoy me, human? Why can't you just let me be hamster and be cute? I am cute. I am supreme cuteness of being. Yes. Yeah, sorry about the focus, but sometimes the uh, focus is a little hard for these guys. The lighting is okay, but I don't feel like turning up the light. It would disturb her too much, and I'm sorry for the audio. You okay, that cuteness. You look how cute that is. You look how cute you are, Jenny. Yes, you are so cute. Get a tripod, you asshole. You lazy bitch with your humanness. Jenny, have you been watching Invader Zim again? Yes. That's because it's the only fucking thing you watch. <laughs> Which is kind of true to a degree. I do love me some Invader Zim. And some bad sci-fi. But, um, I bought this 50 movie pack. <clears throat> and, um... I do have a bit of a sore throat, or I don't know if it's a sore throat, or I'm just fucking tired. One of the two. But she's so cute.
soon. Paul will fear me. Are you, 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 are you being delusional again? Or is that me? <clears throat> Look at that. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. I'm tempted to get the macro lenses to show everyone how cute you are. Yes, you are so cute. So this is Jenny. She's cute. I blame you for freezing weather. What are your thoughts on Trump, Jenny? He's a piece of shit. He also don't fucking care. None of this affects me. I am supreme being of cute. Fear me. Fear my supreme cuteness. Fear it. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> She's like, stop staring at me. I'm going to be watching a pro Jared video and watching you. You are going to watch the pro Jared video. Special shot as the last hit. And enemies take so much damage. And the special shot does crap for damage. So you use your normal gun to weaken them and then you risk killing them and not getting the DNA core. Not that changing into them is all that useful. Some of them let you go into areas you otherwise can't, but they are not better to play as at all. So basically, Axel's one defining feature is rendered moot. All you really need him to do is shoot. Speaking of shooting, X7 has a lock-on mechanic for firing. The lock-on happens automatically for every target, and you can switch between them. This means firing his Axel has him automatically aiming at yeah, me. And half the challenge of a Mega Man game is taken away. Look, what is the main thing you do in every Mega Man game? You jump and you shoot. It wasn't just jumping for platforming's sake, it was also for aiming Mega Man's shots at the enemies into weak points. Adding in a lock-on mechanic ruins half the point of a Mega Man game. No longer is it moving forward and jumping and shooting to take out enemies with any semblance of skill. Now it's moving forward and mashing the shoot button because it hits everything for you. What is the point? It's a technical and design hindrance. Okay, look at this idiot. This is a freaking boss, and I'm just standing here shooting him. That's it. He's easy as balls because I don't have to do anything. Mega Man X7 retains the rep life saving mechanic from X5 and X6, where saving rep life throughout stages earns you power-ups. 
Some of them aren't worth anything, some give heart tanks, others weapon ups, one ups, etc. There's no way to know which Reploid gives which until afterwards, so you could unintentionally power up someone you didn't need to. Basil. We all know how games these days are over tutorialized. They have to explain everything. But I swear to God, the deep dark plummet into that began with Mega Man X7. Alia returns from previous games, and she explains everything. When you get ready to insert your upgrade chips, she explains that chips upgrade your abilities. Every time, for every single chip. Get two in one stage? Don't worry, she'll explain both. Get two more in another stage? I'll let Ellie explain them to you again. And yeah, she calls in during stages, too. Can you hear me, Zero? They have a tutorial for everything. They explain how to use a stage select. I know how to select a stage. I killed Stone Kong, and the next one up is Vanishing Gun Guru. This stage introduces Ride Armor, another Mega Man X staple, and this is the only stage with Ride Armor. They're slow, and they're dumb, and they try to lock on things through walls. I have to reiterate how stupid the 3D sections are. They do not add anything gameplay-wise, and they are totally wasted in any sense of potential. The previous Mega Man X games all had a certain rhythm to them. Moving forward, jumping, and shooting. And the shooting was important because you had to take What's the entertaining part of this video, human? Is it just videoing me? Why do you video me all the time? Why? And now you got this fancy thingy. To aim your shots, get in the slightest, or hit weak points to clear your path. Because I love you. That's why. Fuck you, human. Yes, fuck you. Do you know what the rule of thirds is? Yes. Mostly. Wow, you are horrible at photography. Don't insult my photography skill. You is a bitch, you mean. I love my beeps. Before every boss fight, the robots exchange a few words. And Akon Gunguru totally have the same voice actor. I'm not the kid you used to know! But you're acting like a kid right now! Have I mentioned how awful the voice acting is in this game? Because it makes Mega Man X4 look masterful. What's going on? Axel doesn't know how to inflect. My friends in Red Alert are all really skilled replicas. Do you want to just go to a CB? I've had enough violence. And Zero's only attempt at sounding cool was by trying to make his voice as deep as possible. Well, this is turning into a real mess. Bye, baby.